Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome back to episode 22 of The Sims 4 Get Famous. Really quickly, I just want to let you guys know that I kind of messed up my settings on this part. The majority of the video is fine, but when the camera turns, it does kind of get a little bit fuzzy in the background. So I just wanted to let you know this video isn't as high quality as my videos usually are. It's my fault. I messed up with OBS. I hope you guys can forgive me. I tried to re-record it, but nothing was happening the way it did in this original video and this was just so much more entertaining so I hope you guys can forgive me it will be back to normal in the next episode and this is a fun one so definitely stick around till the end. In the last part we had the gang hang out with each other and kind of get their relationships back on track Ah, and now everyone's texting us being like hey I heard you became friends with so and so because they're all really good friends oh my goodness Goodness. It's so cloudy. What the heck? I can't believe it's this cloudy in Del Sol Valley. I mean, sometimes this does happen in LA and then it like burns off and this place is... I don't know where our butler's been. Um, I assumed she would stay over, but it looks like she just got back in and... I don't know why, because I thought she was going to stay like a living butler, and I'm fairly sure she should be. Also, we need to have River continue making... Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. This is not good. Stay away. Don't give us our bills. Oh, God. Oh, God. Let's see how much our bills are. I don't want to know. I really don't want... To... Oh. <laughs> Oh my goodness, 22,000 smackaroonies. That's so sad. Oh no, we're gonna be broke literally in like two weeks of living here. 110%. We are broke ass girls. Oh no, this is so bad. 22,000 simoleons. That's ridiculous. So I'm gonna have Nora come and teleport down here. Nora is once again off today and I'm really sorry that I'm pre-recording so I couldn't get around to like seeing your comments because the last part hasn't gone up yet but I did ask you guys about Nora starting to date and there is is a couple of guys that like there are there are a couple of guys not is there are a couple of guys that I have been kind of like eyeing up for her I suppose so there was this dude who we were already kind of friends with um Landon I don't know how we're a romantic interest unless she gave him like a romantic or enchanting introduction um maybe once perhaps. So we already kind of have like a positive relationship with him. I kind of want to like send him a text and see if he wants to meet up. Like Nora's kind of just doing this herself. And then if we don't like this guy, I can definitely show you the other guy that I had in mind for her that one of you actually created. I think I saved him to my gallery, so I should be able to show you him. I don't know why this guy's running around in circles. Did you send a happy text? Did he just not get back to you? Oh, I agree, Nora. It's a great day. Let's head out and enjoy the day. Okay. So he wants to go to Puppa Stone Park. There is a glitch currently where the game actually doesn't take you to where they suggest. So I don't know if this is going to take us to the park, but we'll have to wait and see. Okay, so it brought us to a park. Not the park that I was expecting to be at. But this is the dude. One, I would change his beard because I don't really like that custom content beard that he has on and I never really use it. But he's actually pretty cute. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I probably would change him up in Create a Sim just a little bit. Probably to get rid of... I think he has a nose mask on and, like, I'd probably mess with his... But I think he was looking down. Yeah, like, his eyes are gorgeous. I was gonna say I'd probably like mess with his eyes but I don't think I would. He has absolutely amazing eyes like they're this piercing blue colour which I think is the thing that actually attracted to me to him 
in the first place. And he actually has like a nice outfit on. Like this is bizarre. He's not playing chess with us though, unfortunately. We should probably add him to our group so that we can actually like hang out with him. Um, Nora, why don't you like actually talk to him? Like we'll compliment his style. He is really cool looking. Like he looks like a cool guy. I'm kind of hoping he's not a paparazzi, but I think he probably was. Oh, he's being mean to us. He's insulting us. Oh, he's evil. And see guys, this is why you plan to hang out with someone as friends before you actually start dating them. Because now we've just found out that he's evil. So that kind of turns me off him. And now Nora is just full on fighting with him. He's mocking her. He clearly just like flirted with us once to get in Nora's good books and now he's like no I don't actually want to date you like what the heck why would I want to date you so he's clearly just used me to get us to hang out with him so that he can be popped which honestly what an asshole that is not okay like you can't just use someone that's so annoying. Dirk Dreamer's here, so you know what? We're gonna give Dirk a cheerful introduction because if anything, like I don't wanna hang out with this guy anymore. Um, so we may as well like try and at least like make over Dirk to like get our fame up a little bit. I'm gonna disband this group because honestly, I don't wanna hang out with you, London. Like what the heck? Can we just tell him? Oh, he, the hanging out with friends disappeared anyway. He was straight up using us to get the paparazzi's attention. Oh my word. See, Nora, this is what it means to be a celebrity. You can no longer just like trust people, you know? Why are we all crowding around? This is so annoying. What the hell? Just talk to each other. Oh my word, why are you all hanging around? I'm gonna actually add him to a group so that we can go away from all these people. Go here together, because I really could not give a crap about the other celebrity that's over there. I always forget his name and I can never remember what he's called. Dustin? Ugh. He's a creep, like he gives me creep vibes and I really dislike him. So I wanna at least try and talk to Dirk a little bit. We're gonna discuss his stress mood. Like we get it, we're in the limelight as well. We understand you, we know exactly where you're coming from. It can get stressful, my friend, trust me. I just had a dude hang out with me because he wanted my fame. Like he wanted a brush with fame and he thought Nora, was gonna be the one to give it to him and just didn't respect us in any sense of the word. But now I'm just kind of using Dirk for the same thing. I'm like having this heartfelt discussion about like how you shouldn't use people for fame and it's like a dick move. And then I'm just doing this exact same thing to Dirk Dreamer. Oh, I kind of feel a bit like an asshole. I'm not gonna lie. I think we should just go home and like, I mean, Clara's got some work to do. Clara actually spent the night with Vanessa. I mean, not with Vanessa, but they slept in the same bed together. In the most innocent sense of the words of sleeping together, as in, they both slept fully clothed next to each other. That's what they did. Like she stayed over at Vanessa's house. Aw, the Munch brothers giving each other a hug. That's the most wholesome interaction I've ever seen Wolfgang actually do. Oh, we found out that Dirk was clumsy. That's very sweet. He seems quite nice, actually. I feel like we could actually be friends with um, Dirk Dreamer. He's clumsy. Did we find out? He's clumsy and a bookworm. Oh, Dirk actually seems really sweet. Maybe we should date Dirk Dreamer instead. I feel like that would be a fun time. I've never really given him a chance, but now I feel like he could at least be a friend for Nora. It's nice to see Nora opening up a little bit more, I do have to say, because she's always been like quite closed off. And so it's quite nice, like even with this fame, she's kind of like opening herself up a little bit more. Oh my God, this guy's just walking around completely 
topless. No, can we stop that? What was Dirk famous for again? I swear he's like a game creator. Is he not? I feel like that's him. I know he was a Sims 1 or 2 sim. I can't remember. I think he was a Sims 2 sim, but I'm not completely sure on that. I know he was in a previous game and I think he's famous for designing a game or an app from what I can remember reading on his star. So enough about Nora and her failed date. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna focus on Clara a little bit. So we need to develop our comedy skill. Where is River? All right, Clara, I'm gonna have you, I wanna have her just come up to River and like practice our comedy. And then we also need to research the angry emotion, which I actually don't wanna do with River because we do that all the time. What do we have to do? Perform mean interactions. Oh no, I shouldn't have got angry. I should have, um, oh no, this is bad. Cause now I wanna do funny with him, but I feel like that's gonna make her even angrier. I should not have had her research angry emotions. Oh, I'm a dumb dumb. Okay, just do one funny with him and then we will actually go rage at someone else perhaps. Oh, oh they hugged. That's the first time in a long time that these two have hugged when talking to one another. I'm hoping that this gets rid of this comedy. Okay, no, 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 stop trying to be mean to him. She keeps trying to shout forbidden words at him. Oh, this was so stupid of me. Why do I ki keep clicking on romance um, by accident? This is not okay. We need to stop that. Let's tell him an inside joke instead. There we go. We developed our comedy skill, which is good. Now I just don't know who to take my anger out on. Maybe the butler? Maybe we can use our anger on the butler. I can honestly never find her. Oh my God, where the heck is she? Loads of you guys were actually suggesting to do a makeover on the butler, which I think could be quite fun. So I might do that. I might have Nora do a makeover on her. All right, so let's... Oh, we're not even angry anymore. We're gonna shout forbidden words at her. I'm gonna get rid of this funny, there we go. The rage within. Diving deep, Clara is practicing the subtle differences between passive, aggressive, and assertive anger. Oh no, this is not helping her reputation. We're gonna insult her. Don't worry, we will forgive, like this woman will forgive us because we're actually like quite good friends with her. So I'll just have them become friends again, but let's insult. We only need to do like two more options. I feel awful. Oh my goodness, this is not good. Clara, she's a good person as well. She does not deserve this judgment. What the hell are you doing? to this poor little butler. Okay, I think we're almost done. I think we should have one more left. Come on, one more left. Yeah, there we go. Okay, stop being angry. Okay, yeah, you can apologize later. Just give yourself time to like slow down, all right? You're fine. I'm gonna get rid of this or else she's gonna literally chew out everybody and that's not what I want. Oh my God. Maybe she actually uh, did more than sleeping once I left her because it kind of seems like she did. Her energy is pretty darn low. Let me open this up and see what we've got in. Oh, we've still got salad. So we're gonna grab a serving of salad. So we're kind of focusing a little bit on everybody today. I mean, we've focused on Clara. We've got her doing what she needs to do for her gig tomorrow, which I actually might play through in this part as well. And Nora went on her very failed date. Hey, I heard you and Ayaka are good friends now. You're getting more popular. Clearly you're a good person to know. I like how Van uh, Nora's texting us that. I was about to say Vanessa. I did not mean that. And then I might focus on River a little bit. I mean, he, how's your reputation doing, buddy? Okay, we're gonna run a fake story. He's, he's come to realize that like, 
a bad reputation is actually quite good for him because it kind of gets people talking and like people love a bad boy am i right ladies and gents oh he doesn't have the pr one i keep thinking that he has the pr one but he actually doesn't which is so annoying what did he need complete an aspiration milestone Oh, so we can become a four-star celebrity, be asked for a selfie three times, or deal with the paparazzi three times. You know what? We are gonna go out with River. I'm not gonna take Clara with us because she does have an audition quite early in the morning. So we're gonna head to the nightclub and I think we'll gather up his usual gang. Although I kind of want to invite Candy. Like him and her seem to like really hit it off with one another. And he also hasn't hung out with Vanessa in a while. So I might bring Vanessa along too. We're gonna bring Octavia along for the ride, Akira, the regular boys. What's really sad is I don't know if River like actually has any true friends with these people. We're gonna buy zesty salts for everyone which we probably shouldn't be doing considering our bills were just 22,000 simoleons and that's with Nora having the frugal trait which actually reduces bills because she could afford that. She had loads of lifetime aspiration points so I bought frugal so that's with like a discount but in this group I feel like Vanessa is his only true friend like him and Hallie are still on and off I I haven't asked you guys in a while how we feel about Hallie I mean these guys haven't really interacted too much with one another recently oh he's getting flirty with her though like straight up like gave her a friendly little wave he seems to have missed her I still think River is more serious about Hallie than she is about him which is quite sad like I kind of wish that she did like him back but I just have a bad feeling about her like I still think she's using him especially now that he's a b-lister and she's still a rising star like I just have a feeling that he's really more into her but then he's not completely serious like he got on really well with Candy when they saw each other he also flirted with someone else like I don't know if River's playing more of a game than Hallie at this point. Like, he knows Hallie's quite good for his image and, like, the public kind of love it because she is still, like, America's sweetheart. She's complimenting him back, though, which is quite nice. We can dance together. Why don't we go, um dance together guys oh never mind they were flying with each other and then they kind of lost it i want someone to ask me for a photo or an autograph like that would be great <gasps> she just flirted with victor right in front of us she either just flirted with victor or Noah. Oh my god, we're gonna yell at her. No, don't go dancing, River. It's not the time for dancing. You're gonna- Oh! He yelled at her about a baby! Does River want a baby? Oh my word! Now he's insulting her. Oh my goodness! Did River just admit that like he wants a baby and everyone's cheering because we're doing mean interactions because we have like, because we have that uh perk that means that like people love us when we're mean this one right here who is bad river's bad lose reputation even faster game fame from mischief interactions oh no i don't have play the villain be mean gains fame that comes at the next one i also don't know who our stan is i kind of wish the game told you that where are the toilets in this place oh there's toilets over here all right let's go use the bathroom please because he is desperate and then i think we're actually gonna do some more mean interactions i think river wants a baby you guys i honestly like i never thought i would see the day where river actually was talking about commitment and babies and yet here we are he yelled at hallie because she's not putting in the commitment that he 
clearly wants. What does that mean? Does that mean he's gonna like, I don't know. I feel like he could spiral and like maybe sleep with someone. Oh goodness gracious me, this is not gonna be good in the slightest. I have a bad feeling. I think this is not gonna end well. We're gonna criticize Hallie's woohoo techniques. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is so awkward. And the, there's not really many paparazzi around here, which is quite nice, but like people are gonna get a hold of this. He's like, you stink. <laughs> oh, she's not happy about it. And now he's insulting Victor as well. Oh no. I really don't like how Hallie is getting in between him and his friends. Like that's really sad. No, I don't appreciate it. All I wanted to do was come out and have a good night and maybe complete an aspiration by having someone ask me for a selfie or an autograph, but absolutely no one is doing that. Where's Candy? I think River would try and find some ex uh, acceptance in Candy. Oh no, this is not gonna go well. We're gonna compliment her outfit and we're also gonna have a deep conversation with her. Who's this? Oh, this is the DJ. Okay, that's understandable. Why is everyone taking photos of Vanessa? Where are my fans at? Where the hell's Candy? Who are we talking to here? Oh, Candy's over there. Okay, that's fine. Pretend to be slapped. <laughs> Weird way to hit on a girl. We are gonna give her a gloomy compliment right in front of Holly. She's not gonna be impressed with this. I don't even know if Candy's gonna be impressed with this, quite honestly. Oh, he's just hopping on the insults. He really, really wants to insult Holly, man. Oh no, Candy's leaving. Oh man. She was gonna be our revenge plot and she left. Oh man, I guess that leaves Jade. I mean, we kind of introduced ourselves to Jade last time, but I don't know. I don't think he would go there. I think we're just gonna head to bed, River. Tonight is not your night, buddy. I said I was gonna do Clara's um, audition, but it, this part's already been pretty long, so I think I'm gonna cut it here. Oh my goodness. River's really upset. Like, he is taking this hard. I think we need to call it quits on the Holly and River relationship, guys. I think this is pretty toxic. I don't think they're good for each other. And honestly, like, at this point, she's just hurting his reputation even more and, like, affecting his relationship with his friends and stuff, which is just not nice for him. Like, I don't want River to feel like he's alone in the world. Like, yeah, he might not have the best reputation ever, but, like, I still want him to have friends. And I feel like people would probably use River because they know that he's famous and, like, he has a big online following so i really do think he needs to step up to the plate and like tell hallie that this pr stunt is over so that's probably gonna happen in the next episode but thank you all so so much for watching i hope you all enjoyed this part if you did give it a big thumbs up who knows maybe when he breaks up with hallie he'll like actually find out that like demarcus is kind of a cool guy and like they might form a bromance we also still need to have him approach DJ Llama for sure because River kind of fell out of love with Thorn Bailey. Like Thorn still does not like River. He is still trying to drag him down, which I think is why River actually got dropped by his last record label as well. I think Thorn's kind of been like running his mouth and like talking to people in the music industry and like is trying to stop River in any which way he can. So I don't know, River wants a baby. He also wants to get revenge on Thorn Bailey. Octavia's a free woman now. Who knows how that situation is gonna go down, but that is saved for the next episode and I will speak to you all then. Bye guys.